Mr. Truck here with breaking news. Four o'clock in the morning in Colorado. Yes, I'm fully clothed. <laughs> but I've got my NOS. Not an advertisement. I just have to stay awake. You know, I need my B12 and B6. But this news is the Ford Ranger and the Ford F-150 is now offering to its owners a lift kit, the first ever Ford Performance Off-Road Leveling Kit and tuned suspension. Now this is cool because my truck, my F-150, I just bought it in December, it's a 2018. It has an FX4 package, which means I have skid plate, I have off-road tires, special shocks, and all of that. And then I wanted to get max tow package because I pull big trailers. So I've got max tow package, which means the back end is jacked up. So a leveling kit on the front, which is what this is, 2-inch lift on the front with different coils and all that, that would level my truck out. But the reason Ford does that on the off on the uh, max tow package is because so it starts up high and when you load it up it'll level out. Well, I wish they would do that with suspension and not you know wedges because that's what it is. It's like an inch and a half wedge, and that keeps it jacked up, but also makes your ride a little rougher. Because I know you can get the Fords without the max tow package and they squat quite a bit because they start off level. So that would be interesting if I can get one of these kits on there. How this will work with a loaded trailer. Mr. Trek here with another exciting trailer accessory review. This one's for your gooseneck trailer. It's from Gen Y Hitches. It's called the Cushion Surge Coupler. Torsion Flex. So it's kind of like a torsion axle on a, on a tra horse trailer. And that, inside here are those torsions. And so as this thing flexes, those will move up and down. Gen Y hitches. All you have to do is look at them. They're built like a bulldozer. It's all heavy duty plate metal. Make them adjustable hitches, pencil hitches, shock absorbing hitches with torsion, like a torsion axle on a horse trailer. These things will last you forever. You cannot find a better built adjustable hitch. That's going to be interesting. Let's see, it's uh, it's the further the off-road adventure and customization with the new leveling suspension kits. And that's true, a lot of people do put lift kits on their trucks, they do all kinds of things. This is the first time they've done it. Now it has Fox shocks, which is really cool. That's what they have on the Raptor, is Fox shocks. I don't know if this has the reservoir, the remote, or what it has. It's a two inch front lift, new front coilovers. Uh, vehicle specific upper front mounts and locking spring preload rings. So you get a lot of stuff there. The uh, benefits of leveling kit is uh, better off-road capability with more front ground clearance and improved approach and brake over angles. You know, we all like that for off-roading. And I'm right to the mountains. I do a lot of that with ATVs and, and the special off-road trucks that I get to review. But they're just releasing this now. Let's see the quote here is Ford Performance Parts developed these kits to make the off-road experience even better for the Ranger and the 150. Said Eric Chen, C-I-N, Global Director, Ford Vehicle Personalization Accessories. And people do accessorize their trucks. I mean, I used to own HemiTruckClub.com and our survey we did back way back when, 10 years ago, was that the average person on that website uh, put 3000 bucks in their trucks that first year. And then you got the diesel guys, they go nuts. They put a lot of money in their trucks the first year. But this is, it's also, it's an aftermarket, it's after the fact. You can't order the truck that way, which means you have to take it to a Ford dealer to have it installed too. And I'll get you the price on that, what the kit is. They don't, of course, tell you what the labor cost is going to be on it. Uh, let's see. It says, truck customers are asking for options for increased capability and customization. New leveling suspension kit for the Ranger and 150 delivers on that. Now, the majority of Ranger and 150 trucks are purchased with four-wheel drive. Well, they are. Mine's a four-wheel drive with an FX4 package. Um, for those who want to go further, leveling kit will enable off-roaders to explore, to adventure into even more challenging terrain. I like all the verbiage they get into this. Beyond adding additional ground clearance, off-road performance is improved with the truck-optimized Fox shocks. I would love to have Fox shocks. The dealer installed off-road leveling kit for the Ranger and 150 include new aluminum Fox shock bodies are designed to provide ample cooling capacity 
over rough terrain. So it doesn't say it's got a piggyback cooler or a, you know, a, a remote cooler on it, a reservoir. So we'll see what they look like. The new front cooler springs deliver optimal spring rate. Uh, vehicle specific upper front mounts you with polyurethane bushings work to help isolate noise and vibration. Two inch front lift levels the truck from front to rear. Now this would be cool if it being like a Raptor, I'd go out and chase coyotes and jump ditches and get airborne. I don't think it's quite that aggressive. Uh, let's see. Um, performance engineers work with Fox to develop unique internal valving for the shocks to deliver confident performance and predictable handling both off-road and on the pavement. So I don't know if they're adjustable. I mean, we'll get more information on this, but uh, yeah, we those, love those Fox shocks. With the kit installation, both Ranger and 150 see improvements in the front ground clearance, approach, and brake over angles. We talked about that. Ranger sees approximately 21% increase in approach angle and 10% increase in brake over angle. Uh, 150 with a 145 inch wheelbase sees approximately, that's a minus, that's a short, short bed, the, uh, the crew cab with a five and a half foot bed. Um, with that short truck, uh, crew cab sees an approximate 22% increase in approach angle and a 7% uh, in breakover angle. And what's the departure? Where is the departure? It doesn't show the departure on that truck. But the exhaust, like on my truck, is uh, out to the side. It's not like a lot of these trucks at the rear and then you get in trouble with departure angles. But uh, da, 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 approach angle and breakover angle. They don't show uh, what the other angle is, the, the departure. Development testing for the leveling kit including high-speed off-roading in Borrego, California, and low-speed rock crawling in Arizona to optimize for a variety of off-road driving experiences. There's another quote. The elevated off-road geometry paired with Ford performance tuning makes this a really unique offering, said Chin. I hope I'm saying it right. C-I-N. The secret sauce to this kit is a Ford performance tuning. This suspension and its tuning is designed to improve off-road handling and responsiveness, especially for the Ranger 150. Well, that is cool because, you know, the trimmer, when it comes out, that's going to be the Super Duty. It's going to have its own kind of package, you know, and all that. So uh, we'll find out how this works. But uh, this is cool. I mean, this should be a good kit uh, for what, you know, like I would love to have this kit. Just got to save the money and go out there and get an extra job, you know, work for Walmart as a greeter. <laughs> His new offerings are available through Ford dealers for $1,495 before installation. So $14.95 is what the kit costs you, and you got to pay labor, which I don't know if that's $80 or $120 now or whatever it is. You got to find out. The kits are designed to be installed at the dealer on any four-wheel drive 19 Ranger or four-wheel drive 2015 through 2019 F-150s. The kits come with a Ford Performance Parts Limited Warranty. So I got to find out how long that is. I sure hope it's three years to match the bumper-to-bumper -bumper thing. Yeah, off-road enthusiasts can order Ford Performance Parts Loving Kits for Ranger 150 later this fall. Well, that gives me a couple months to save my coins. But, uh, yeah, that is exciting news. And especially you know, if you've already got them. I mean, you know, this this could be really, really cool. So now I've got something else to buy. <laughs> I just put mirrors on my truck. The towing mirrors just put in the spray-in bed liner. I'm going to uh, do some testing probably this the end of this week with uh, Sumo Springs from Super Springs and see how that uh, calms the ride down, see what that does to it, towing trailers. So I've got those tests coming out so we keep finding new things to put on my truck. And this is another new thing. I just got to come up with 1495 bucks plus, I don't know, I don't know what the installation is going to cost. If it's going to be a thousand bucks, five hundred bucks, that you can find out because uh, the Ford dealers will be knowing about this. They probably know about it now. So you might be able to get a quote on the labor, because uh, I'm going to. I'm going to go find out from my local Ford store just what uh, the labor charge would be on that kit. But it's time to go to bed. So now you have the news. 6 o'clock uh, Eastern time, and it is a little after 4 now. It's, yeah, yeah, a little after 4 in Colorado. But this is cool news.